our chief uh, medical officer from Sankey Mayor. Uh, but first of all, I want to introduce to all of you our CEO, our, our global CEO, chairman of Sankey Global, and also the visioner, Alejandro Lopez Tello, which he found our company and he had the vision and he has been involved in this business for more than 10 years already, uh, helping a lot of people around the world to have better lives and to live with quality and with purpose. So welcome. We want to uh, give you the microphone to you, Dr. Alejandro Lopez Tello. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Thank you, Jose Manuel. Good evening to everybody. I'm really excited to be here with all of you. Uh, this is an amazing night. This is the first time we do this in all the history of 10 years in Sankey Global. Uh, as you know, we're about to launch the company in the US. And we're really excited of the great community of English speakers that we are just uh, starting to enroll and to bring into our huge Sankey family. It's an honor for me to introduce you with uh, to introduce you to Dr. Bigit Edeas. He's a PhD in biochemistry from France. Uh, he has a master's degree in biotechnology. He's the director of the Antioxidant Society of the of, of Japan. He's a fair manager of the Pasteur Institute in Japan. He's a counselor in Vida Foods, Geneva, Switzerland and Ciel Paris, France. He's the chief marketing officer of Sankey Mayer. And he's also founder and a friend of mine for more than 10 years when we decided to found Sankey Global. He's the one that believed in me when we started this great, great adventure and this great company. And it's an honor for me to introduce you with Dr. Bigit Eves. Thank you, doctor, for being here tonight with all our Sankey US family. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Alex, and uh, thank you for waiting uh, me to, uh, to connect uh, now. Uh, I hope I can, uh, with our team uh, in the lab, uh, Dr. Mitsko, Dr. Selin, and Dr. Ekidao at the other side, uh, who is working in this village project. So I hope we will start uh, uh, projecting the PowerPoint uh, uh, that show where we come from and uh, what is the relevancy of what we are doing today to the actual pandemic situation and how can this uh, uh, bring some support to to consumer of uh, village. So uh, the, I think the, the, the most important thing is we start with uh, Alex is uh, where we come from and uh, I think uh, the uniqueness about uh, uh, Sankey project is uh, uh, here is uh, is uh, what we are going to go through today is the uh, the Japanese situation why the uh, impact in Japan has been mitigate, mitigated uh, comparing to other places uh, the genesis of Bilash project and uh, uh, how the uh, our technology can. Uh, support the symptom and reduce the symptom of such infection and the next stage what we are developing. So first I think we must move to 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 before even seeing the situation of of uh, happening in the world and uh, Japan uh, I think it's better to move where we start from and uh, uh, the technology we start uh, from is not about uh, inventing a new product, uh, but uh, it's about uh, uh, finding how the the people who succeeded to have a healthy style of life, healthy life for long term, are doing and studying from it. So this is what we call the you know the studies on the centenarians, and we start uh, twenty years ago to study the uh, reason why the centenarians in south of Japan was uh, having such healthy uh, long life. Uh, island of Okinawa has the, the highest centenarians level in the world and uh, uh, it was one of my uh, tasks to, to go and stay there six months and study these uh, people, why they have such longevity. So. The longevity is not only about living uh, long years or 100 years. It's, uh, they also have a very good uh, 
body uh, condition. So very good low inflammation, uh, very good uh, uh, efficiency in terms of uh, uh, the way they manage the stress, etc. They are very happy people. So um, the conclusion of six months work show that the, the secret of these people of having such health life is their gut microbiome. They have a, a lot of diversity, number one, of this uh, gut microbiome. And number two, they have very specific ones that we, can, we could find them at all, as a common point among all of these healthy people. So uh, this is where we started uh, for, not by looking at a molecule and try to apply it in human health, but reverse the process and understand somebody succeeded at doing something and how can we inspire from them. And uh, this is, I think, um, it is extremely important to stop at this point because if, if we move to the next slide, Selim, uh, we can see the, you know, the, the body of, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, ne the next slide where we see all of the ecosystem of the uh, microbiome. If you look, uh, Alex, at all of the microbiome ecosystem around the body, and this is, comes from not only the guts, but from the lungs, from the, the skin, from the brain, from the genitals, from everywhere in the body. Averagely, we are talking about two kilograms of bacteria. So... At this level of, uh, of uh, complication, ask the simple question, how can a company come and bring a serious solution to say, we are tackling this specific part of the body? Like we are going to focus in the, in the, in the skin or we are going to focus into the gut's health or we are going to uh, focus in the uh, liver. It is very, very complicated because this is you are looking in front of you like a human complicated watch with a lot of pieces, with a lot of families, with a lot of uh, interactions that has been created and evolved over millions of years. So we cannot just come and say, I'm going to add you something in you. I'm going to bring something from the outside. I'm going to solve this and take this out and add this in. It is really very, very complicated to, to do that. And this is where we started with Bilash. We thought simply is these people who has all of these families, they have very unique points among them that united all of these ecosystem of uh, bacteria that controlling this pharmaceutical factory in the, in the body. So we thought that we try to just copy paste what these people, healthy people, have as a, a metabolites communicating about, uh, around all of this bacteria system. And if we bring it to the average people, maybe we can copy the healthy one. And this is how we started. So we are not starting from finding a product and try to validate it, but we started from the upside down we, in, and reversing it on. I think this is a, it's very, very important uh, uh, point to 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 show uh, where we come from because uh, everybody always asking why the products works why we have this efficacy uh, is, is it coming from this mechanism or this mechanism and uh, frankly speaking we can justify it by some mechanism but at the end of the day how can you justify that uh, uh, thousands type of bacteria are working differently each together with another one in a synergy, uh, which one is going to activate, which one is going to improve, which one is going to, what type of things, it's really very, very complicated. Even with an AI supported system, still human are not able to know how this, all of this huge uh, complexity is uh, connecting each uh, together. And this is where uh, this uh, village is coming from. So if we move uh, to, to show uh, the difference between the, 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 uh, the healthy and the unhealthy people, uh, the one with the strong immunity and not strong immunity, the one with has the ability to live long uh, years and the one who is uh, 
going to be sick easily. Uh, I think we can see it very easily is the uh, gut difference. Uh, gut bacteria is uh, is in majority, then skin bacteria, they are interconnected together. Different gut, dif different function. Now, if you are asking me nutrition, medication, style of life, it play, of course, roles. But the most dominant part is the gut bacteria. Uh, in, in, in when I study the centenarians, and this is, was one of the things that intriguing and nobody wanted to talk about. Several of them, they are heavy smokers. How can you justify that the man he is heavy smoker and he's still living 102 years and he don't go to hospitals and he, uh, he don't have too much medications? Uh, I think this is the things that sometimes it's, it's uh, differentiate us as a human. Uh, and this is uh, cannot change it just by bringing some probiotics uh, bills and take them. Uh, this is coming from our mothers and it's very, very important to admit uh, this uh, point where we come from. The, the, the technology we used, it's very simple. We didn't try to take these bacteria and bring them. We simply bring a tank. We bring these bacteria. We put them into a simple tank, uh, Ikeda. And when we put this into a fermentation tank, we just make the fermentation, get the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, these bacteria to produce metabolites, which is commonly used by every other human, recognized by any human guts, without differentiation between the type of diet they are eating or the, the type of the, their age, etc. So there is no discrimination in terms of the um, this is people have a very different style of life, so this uh, can work or does not work, or etc. The metabolites works by gene expression in everybody at the same time, and this is what allow us to evolve into producing such uh, technology with uh, uh, with such metabolites. So the if you ask me the simple question, what is this metabolites targeting? What is there is a lot of targeting a lot of solution, a lot of problems. We targeted very two simple organs. One is the liver, because we think clearly if, uh, if when we look at the centenarians people, they have two organs which is regenerating very good. Number one is the, is the liver. Number two is the mitochondria. Liver is an organ that's controlling uh, all of the in the uh, enzymatics uh, hormonal uh, system of the body and uh, it's highly strategical uh, center and the other thing is the mitochondria that produce not only our energy but also control the metabolism and homeostasis of a lot of cells uh, and control the longevity of the humans uh, so these two things is the target that we try to uh, focus on them now if we have, and this is what we validated, not in one clinical test or clinical trial, if we have any patient, any subject who's taking these products for all of, for this long years, uh, they have uh, easily one important uh, factor, secret, is the low inflammation. No chronic inflammation at these centenarians people. And this word of inflammation is everybody underestimate it and uh, this is, I think, the what differentiate the, uh, if I look at the Japanese subjects, uh, differentiate them from other subjects. They have low inflammation diet. If you look at the, the average Japanese people every day, if I take Alex, uh, a Japanese unhealthy young man of 25 years living in Tokyo today, wherever he go, if he goes into a custom, uh, in, uh, in a company, they will offer him a cup of green tea. If he go to eat a cheap meal, they offer him a cup of uh, uh, some cheap green tea. If he go to his family and they receive any guest, they bring the green tea. So they have green tea from morning to night. Then the meal, which is the cheapest meal to eat in Tokyo today? Fish. Meat is at least two, three times more expensive than fish. So average people, they're eating everyday fish. It's not because they like to be healthy. It's the, the most affordable solution that they have because of logistics. So if you take the average person who don't want to look at health at all, by obligation of culture, he must have a, 
cup of tea by obligation of culture must have uh, uh, some healthy food then the other thing is that living in such a big city very few people afford to have cars so everybody must walk around to go to the subway to go to some place so it is naturally a style of life that make that the people is moving around now when it comes to contamination things and this is bring us dr ikda to the first page why the japanese didn't get such uh, high uh, impact from such viruses even they are the first uh, we think the, the virus started in china since november even people say it is december but since november a lot of cases of viruses start in china so if we look from november december to to march today it took them at least five months just to to reduce the impact japanese get the impact from december the with the cruise ship etc uh, then the Chinese people traveling to Japan bring the virus, but it does not still spread. And uh, this is comes, I think, to several factors. Is number one is Japanese; they don't shake hands. Uh, we don't have this culture of shaking hands in Japan, so it is uh, uh, distancing. It's already uh, in uh, culture. Um, if you ask me why they have this culture of not touching each other. Uh, I think it's the same culture that somebody uh, invented to take shoes at the entrance of the house, uh, which means reducing a lot of contamination. Uh, the culture of cleaning uh, uh, hands uh, everywhere, I think there is this uh, culture of cleanness that the Japanese uh, have. But there is something we don't talk about. Uh, take the the virus as, as, a, as a virus. There is a lot of viruses there. Everybody catch the flu. Uh, pneumonia was uh, number three uh, killer in Japan uh, in 2016. In 2018, it's become number five. And this is came because uh, the government uh, realized that uh, people above 65, they are the most sensitive people and uh, they increase their vaccination against another type of pneumonia. And this is bring us to this pneumonia, I know, uh, issue. It is, uh, 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 there is, uh, uh, everybody, you know, this virus is, is catching the the, uh, the uh, lung. We can move it, it to the lung part of the uh, impact. And this is show us clearly that uh, um, viruses comes from the outside to the mouth and um, slowly, slowly moving to the lung. Uh, uh, the lung part is is very important because uh, uh, for virus to replicate because uh, it is the most sensitive and easy to target uh, organ from the outside to inside. Uh, but also the lung contain a lot of mitochondria cells. It's produce a lot of energy because this is the place where we get these alveoles. You can see them at the right side that exchange the the oxygen that come from the air with the dioxide of carbons and supply the body with the oxygen system now what happened in the normal way when we got infected by these lungs is the infection come with slowly slowly other symptoms like uh, increase uh, little inflammation and uh, people start little uh, sneezing so when we talk about sneezing and talk about another inflammation, et cetera, et cetera, this is make that we have slowly, slowly arise up in the defense system, slowly, slowly defense up. But when it comes to the uh, Kodi virus, it's target the, the lungs. And when it target the lungs, uh, we don't feel the impact at the upper part. Nobody going to sneeze uh, uh, easily in a dry, in a, uh, wet way, like looks like a catching cold, but suddenly it's it's um, impacting the lungs. The body uh, uh, find or sense such uh, attack, and immediately will try to create a huge uh, impact to destroy such virus. And the problem is a problem of geography. If this virus location is in other part and not the lung. Like imagine if this virus in a, uh, it's coming in a kidney or in coming uh, in, a, in in other place where the tissue is more solid, more resilient. It 
I think the inflammation will not destroy the tissue. But when it comes to the lung, the tissue is too much sensitive. And uh, this is can, uh, by the body's uh, immune system, uh, trying to destroy such, such viruses, such they will destroy the lung cells at the same time. And this is cannot be regenerated uh, uh, easily. This is irreversible. And here we talk about, yes, this uh, uh, cytokines storm. Uh, cytokines is the is the compounds that uh, produced by the cells to uh, target uh, the uh, the uh, such uh, attack uh, and um, when it has when we say storm is a lot of these cytokine a lot of these compound that show and increase and target the inflammation it's become too much destructive not only for the virus but also for the cells so it's uh, a syndrome of uh, symbol uh, friendly fire. The own body destroy itself because the location is very, very sensitive. Uh, we can see this example, Alex, simply by looking at, uh, uh, take it is as a crystal, uh, crystal room. We compare the lung as a crystal uh, room. And uh, if we have this uh, crystal room, uh, and mosquito come inside, and uh, ability to the uh, to the body to to attack uh, such uh, things in a disproportional way. Uh, it's like somebody taking a, a machine gun and trying to kill a mosquito in a crystal room. This is how the damage happened. Uh, the infant, the, the 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 body does not recognize the damage it's doing to the cells. It's uh, thinking that. The virus is too much strong that need to, to target it with high volume of uh, uh, cytokines. And this is the, how the virus kills. The virus does not kill directly. It's indirect response from inflammation. So the main problem is high inflammation. So it's like an overreaction of the, of the system to these viruses because the body doesn't understand what's going on. And it started overreacting, sending this storm of cytokines that uh, end up creating more more problems than the virus. Absolutely, absolutely. Now the body, Alex, is is, is normally smart. It's not uh, such a stupid. But the the if you look at when at the at the way we talk about this virus, we say the new virus. So it's a new, new guest, a new, a new enemy that the body does not have all of its coding system to create antibodies to fight it back to target it. it. And when you, when the body don't know what is the reason, they just crazily attack every cell. That the place is there. So plus minus, it's 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 like you are saying uh, there is uh, one of the room. There is mosquito. We ban the room. Yeah. Now, if this is the, the the toilet of the body, this is can be much easier to to solve. But this is the crystal room of the of the of the place. It is any damage is going to create a ir, ir, cannot repair damage, cannot repair impact. Yeah. If it is actually targeting the liver itself, it's much easier. Hello, hello. Yes, we're following you. We, we, we hear you very well. Yeah. So I, I think this is the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the impact, uh, Alex, we are having with this. It is not the direct uh, impact, it's the indirect impact. So can we get back to the slide where you were explaining this storm of cytokines? Uh, so you were saying that the, this destruction of the alveoli causes the oxygen to stop reaching the organs and then the whole system starts uh, reducing the energy and the inflammation starts increasing and that's why this creates death to some people, mainly the aged people. Yes, uh, the aged people, but also, you know, it, uh, we always say the aged because this is the averagely uh, tired uh, organ, you know. Uh, lungs cannot uh, regenerate easily. It is uh, one of the organs that does not regenerate. If we got a pneumonia at the age of 30, uh, we are, have a lot of chance to get it again at the age after 40. And uh, this is make that the, 
the the uh, the lungs. Uh, if you know, sometimes if you look at the lungs of the animals or the things, it's 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 it's, a, it's a very spongy tissue, and if it got fibrosis, it can be damaged very fast. So you are uh, the the if the if the aged people or uh, a lot of people died even for forty five we got cases thirties uh, twenties uh, uh, even fifteens uh, it depends of the quality of the body I think this is the the point to understand that there is capital health and uh, if we use it it's uh, uh, plus minus I talk like uh, sometimes the uh, kids uh, kids explanation in. Uh, uh, this is like a car that has been accidented three, four times. You cannot say that it does not impact the safety of the car even after reparation. It's going to impact and will not be ready as a car that has not been accidented at all. Absolutely. This is, this is I think, wh uh, one of the reasons that uh, uh, a Japanese aged uh, person uh, is resisting. Yeah, compared to the aged people in Italy, in France, and even in the U.S. today, the, the cases in the U.S. are above 83,000. Uh, now, U.S. is above China, Italy, 80,000, uh, Germany, 44,000, uh, France, 30,000, and just and Japan, just 1,000. The difference is huge. I, I, I think the, uh, the, the point is that if you take the Italians, for example, uh, they got this culture, especially the north of Italy, of uh, being rich. Uh, you can always uh, go to the doctors. Even you are, uh, we are uh, the subject 75, 80 years old. Uh, if he has high pressure, he will get high pressure. If he has some infection, he got antibiotics. Uh, and this is uh, make that the system works until there is uh, such shock. But such shock demand that the the the, the body tissue is. Uh, uh, enough to to support such impact of fight, and if we don't have this uh, 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 this uh, resilience, it this is why the the Italian is is dying easily. And uh, uh, I saw it. You know, I work with the clinics here directly with a lot of clinics. You know, uh, we are the, the the main activity we are doing here in Japan. You know, is working with the clinics. We supply a lot of. Uh, uh, not only a, a bioactive formula like Bilash, but a lot of other uh, components for the clinics. And uh, I talk with the doctors who is uh, handling uh, a lot of such patients. The, the, if you take a patient who has not been in medication for uh, easily, and suddenly by 75 he got uh, contamination, uh, he is more resilient uh, to accept uh, uh, in, uh, several uh, uh, shock than somebody who has in medication uh, easily. I think this is bring us, Alex, to one point. If uh, if uh, if I go back to the centenarians, when you try to to look at the case, why these humans succeeded to live long life and no sickness, no serious one, no diabetes brain is still working not cooked brain etc i think they cheated death they the the everybody got viruses everybody got sickness everybody got a chance to 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 go to not clean restaurants <clears throat> and uh, get diarrhea and get something and get uh, some pneumonia but the ability to 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 have this uh, microbiome system allow them to reduce the overreaction of their bodies and avoid re de destroying such uh, uh, tissues or that such mitochondria system. Absolutely. And you were inspired by this uh, super microbiome. I, I call it the super microbiome system that these centenarians have. And you created a solution that uh, seems very simple, but actually is very complicated. It's very, it's very simple because uh, it's uh, it's Alex, uh, the, the, the wisdom of the human is uh, uh, you don't acquire wisdom alone. You don't acquire things. Uh, things takes a lot of effort, a lot of collaboration, a lot of people to get thing, things done. Uh, there is nobody succeeding alone. So if you, if you want to succeed in any field, even the pharmaceutical field, I think we must inspire from the model that has been successful. And uh, the centenarians, this is the Warren Buffett of the health. These people succeeded to, to, if the man succeed to go for 100 years and he still have his mind 
and he has still his kidneys working. Uh, it means they have something, uh, doing something uh, good beyond just um, uh, having uh, good nutrition or walking every day, etc. You know, and uh, this is what we try to to look at it in a very uh, pragmatic way. Uh, we don't want to understand every part of the system, but let's just copy the people who succeeding. And we focused, uh, we didn't shy from the beginning to say, we will want to do copy paste, how these people, uh, their body is doing, what is metabolite in their guts, what is the, we can find in their faces. We take it, we just try to replicate the same thing at the other human replication, simple as it is. So copy paste. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we didn't try to, to take a molecule and try to, to see if it works. Uh, and this is, I think, the, 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 the difference between what we have been doing and, the, and the, the, the classic way. You know, classic way you say, okay, this is nice molecule. This is a, a molecule, for example, coming from uh, uh, tomato lycopene. Is it good for everybody? Yes, let's check. Let's make a clinical trial. The problems, you give it to a Mexican person who is eating a lot of oil and you give it to an Italian person who is having different oil and you give it to an Indian who having at least uh, 20, 30 milligrams of uh, palm oil, the product will not act the same thing. So this has become like roulette medicine, roulette nutrition. Uh, the microbiome, it goes beyond. It, it is microbiome is the one who is the gatekeepers and we, they have their language, and this is the language of, of metabolites. So we just take this same component that the centenarians have and give it to the average human. The system works. It has no resistance because we are not injecting bacteria in our products. Uh, this mechanism of action is very, very simple. The metabolite themselves is very sophisticated because this is not just olive leaf. We don't uh, sell olive leaf to the people. The bacteria that live in these trees, produce these metabolites, which is we can find them easily on the olive leaves. But the olive leaf is, is nothing. The rosemary is nothing. Everybody have them in their gardens. Absolutely. And, uh, and mainly in, in the US, I, I, I've seen that the, maybe it's the biggest uh, market for dietary supplements and nutrition. And I think that the Americans, uh, I mean, the whole US, uh, the, the whole U.S. is uh, still questioning what's the big difference between all this great technology and all the other nutrition supplements that are everywhere in, 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 in network marketing, in direct selling, in convenience stores, nutrition centers, supermarkets. They sell all types of vitamins, minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, uh, antioxidants, milkshakes, etc., etc. And we are not that, and uh, we need uh, we need uh, enough people to understand that there's a huge difference between what we are offering to the people, to the patients, and all of that stuff, even vitamin C, which is now booming because people are taking vitamin C because they think that they will boost their immune system, and maybe it works, but not at this level as our technology. Uh, I think you know the. Uh... The, the, the uh, village technology, it's accept uh, humble way, modest way that uh, uh, the body is too much complicated. Uh, it accept that it is a huge uh, uh, machine that uh, has a lot of pieces and we cannot just uh, add one and uh, take out one. Uh, we accept that the human body evolved over uh, millions of years and uh, uh, the, we cannot just add a new vitamins or a new things. Take simply vitamin C. You just mentioned it now, okay? The human in our, uh, in your grandfather uh, and beyond, they never take the vitamin C as we are taking it uh, today. Ascorbic acid never has been taken by our ancestors. Our guts does not recognize these high dosage easily. Uh, this is disturbed the uh, uh, gut system, you know. Uh, uh, the vitamin C was always associated with uh, uh, with a lot of other components like bioflavonoid, fibers, etc. And in this case, the, the guts they have the ability to 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 manage it. 
today's the the nutrition uh, companies they think okay customers like vitamin c let's give them vitamin c customers like uh, vitamin d let's give them vitamin d and um, they try to to treat a very complicated body in a very simple way and they simplify everything and if we simplify everything you treat the human body as a, a food can uh, like campbell soup uh, you add inside some vitamins, you add some uh, fish oil, uh, you add some zinc, and the body will process it. Uh, human body is more open and uh, uh, more complicated, and uh, uh, the dosage cannot be just uh, because somebody decides the customers like uh, selenium or something. You know, this is must follow this uh, human uh, bacteria and uh, we must now accept that the human is not the master of their body and uh, this uh, two kilograms in each body uh, is the one is the things that controlling uh, our health absolutely absolutely and uh, uh, we need, we have a, a, a big uh, opportunity in, in the U.S. market to explain this, to teach the people the great differences and the importance of our gut and the microbiota inside of that gut. And I think this is a, absolutely a huge opportunity. The U.S. market is the first market in the world to start uh, promoting nutrition, uh, like vitamins, uh, minerals, etc. And this is still today the, the biggest market in, in us. Uh, the problems, if you look at... Uh, uh, the health of uh, average Americans is not really doing good. And uh, uh, you, we will see it uh, in the U.S., you know, in the next uh, uh, phase. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, damage among young people, not only old people, because the, even young people, health is not good, no longer ho good as before. Yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. And what's the solution of the Belash? Uh, now the people is really scared, even in panic, uh, because of this COVID-19 uh, coronavirus. And uh, how, how does uh, our Belash technology work to attack this uh, cytokines uh, storm? Uh, I think, you know, the number one is, uh, as uh, Dr. Selin uh, and Dr. Ekda now showing it, uh, it's reduced the inflammatory response uh, in the body by improving, uh, uh, how you say, making smooth uh, response by reducing the inflammation in the system itself. So we don't want the body to overreact and use these machine guns against uh, uh, such virus. We need to reduce this inflammation to reduce the damage that is happening. And... Uh, if we, do, we, we take our main component, Orisod, it has long uh, battle tested against inflammation. So it works mainly for inflammation. Uh, there is several mechanisms to reduce this uh, uh, cytokines from the NFFO2 uh, to other components. So uh, number one is uh, of uh, uh, bioactivity of village is reducing the uh, inflammation response. And uh, by doing so, we can say if somebody taking, if you take the example, I think averagely somebody has been taking village since Monday and get contaminated by the virus uh, in Friday. Of course, there is a incubation time, etc. But even if it, he has taken it before, the, he got the virus before, the, risk, the body's impact, the lung uh, uh, damage will be much, much less. So we can say that the, they will feel just mild impact of this uh, virus, which is the case of a lot of people, of 80% of people, Alex. Which in this case uh, can save their lives in some cases, because if the inflammation of the lungs is really reduced, then the, this uh, cytokine storm doesn't attack the lungs the way it usually does. Uh, people can save their lives. Uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely. The, 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 vi the virus, you know, does not uh, kill directly, it's killed through the inflammation. If we control this inflammation, we can have just mild infections. And in this case, people does not uh, feel even the infection at all. Uh, when I talk with doctors, a lot of them say me clearly that uh, a lot of people working around and infected already. Uh, how do you want to test uh, all of these people? 
this is a process uh, that uh, uh, viruses uh, live already in a human body. And this is a new virus. It's, uh, we need that the human body learn it, develop these antibodies. It's uh, in normal average people will get this virus for a few days, uh, get sick and then recover. Uh, now we need to, to, to make that the majority of the people uh, not only uh, avoid having the virus, which is difficult, but uh, having no impact or reduce the impact of the virus. Absolutely. And uh, just for, for all our distributors and uh, all, all, all the people that are not experts on this, the NRF2 is a biomarker. It's, a, it's an epigenetic biomarker, right? That, uh, that uh, it's important to reduce inflammation. Yes, it is not uh, just an antioxidant like uh, taking uh, some green juice or blueberry. It's, uh, it's really a, a gen that can be only activated by gen expression. It's very, very precise uh, gen and it's too much connected to the liver. Uh, so the, the, the system is really very, very smart to focus in the place where the, there is more inflammation can be controlled. Now, is it effective at very low dosage? Uh, from the first dosage, people take bilage, they can, uh, can uh, have this uh, impact. Uh, it's much, much uh, uh, efficiency than any vitamins, minerals we can have. So the question is, if somebody is still healthy and is not uh, infected by this virus, what do you recommend should be the daily intake of bilage? What happens if, if their system is not so so healthy, meaning that they are diabetic or they have some, for example, high blood pressure, which is or cancer, which is very common in the US now, uh, but they still haven't got the infection. And what what is the what is the so what is the proposal or the dosage that you recommend if somebody is infected? I think Dr. Ikeda have uh, dosage recommendation page. Uh, I think the daily recommendation is one uh, 200 milligrams, which is equivalent to, to one uh, sachet. Uh, for people with diabetes or another sy symptom or already high inflammation or clinical inflammation, as we can see it with uh, a lot of people, uh, it can move to three sachets a day, one uh, before uh, each meal. Uh, the number three is the uh, is really the high inflammation people. They can move to six uh, six doses, and uh, this is because uh, there is too much cytokine to to fight and uh, need to have a, a repeated dosage to balance such inflammation. So inflammation is like it's like sort of fire, Alex. Some people have you have small fire, uh, prevention of fire, or huge fire. But even at very low do, uh, fire, uh, and this is what we call it aging, uh, the body is cooked at very slow fire. And that's why when I use the expression of the brain, uh, I, uh, brain does not age, it's, it is slowly cooked. And uh, uh, cardiovascular system is not aged, it's slowly burned, grilled. Uh -huh. So our aim is yeah, how to reduce the symptom, not to... Uh, Village will not cure infection. Uh, it's not going to avoid the virus uh, uh, too much. It can reduce the, the infection, yes, because virus can has uh, hospitalization can be very improved, but it is mainly reducing the impact, reducing the symptom. It is like a, a, a airbag into your car. Uh, it will not avoid you having the accident, but it will absolutely make sure that you don't damage your brain. Yeah, because today the big pharma and uh, many companies and even the presence of, 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 of the US and, and China, mainly both these two countries are competing. I, I feel that I think that they are competing to find the, the vaccine, the antibiotic, the vaccine for this virus. And that's that's what is happening every, everywhere in the media. Uh, it's like uh, we're going to find the vaccine before the other. And uh, people are expecting like finally, someday, there would be a vaccine for this uh, horrible virus. But at the end, what you're saying is that uh, if we can reduce the inflammation and we go 
to reduce the inflammation at the cellular level were helping a lot with the sickness because at the end uh, we get viruses uh, like the influenza or like the, 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 the flu and many other types of viruses that we live with them uh, and, they, and they don't kill you, of course. Uh, so uh, we are offering a real solution for the people today because we still don't know when the vaccination will be ready. It, will, it can take one year, two years, and, 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 and people cannot be living in this panic. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, the uh, this is big, uh, big business, you know, of health. Uh, this is the biggest business in us uh, before any other thing. And uh, uh, either for the financial uh, point or for economical, but above all for reputation, you know, uh, nobody wants to accept that uh, they are getting help from other countries. Uh, every country wish that uh, even the the the, the uh, poor country with no technology they wish that they invented uh, such cure for such disease. Uh, you think the the Europeans are happy to receive uh, uh, doctors and uh, masks from uh, China to support uh, them? They are not happy about that. Mm. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it's about the ego, etc. And. Uh, for uh, this is uh, never finished. Are, are there uh, good vaccine already in the market? Absolutely, yes. Are there even medication that can improve? Absolutely, yes. Nobody wants to share uh, because of this uh, issue of politics, of uh, a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. This is a new, this is a, uh, the other viruses does not. It is not new everywhere. This is completely new virus. Uh, other, if you talk about uh, influenza, some countries they have a lot of influenza, some others they don't. It depends on a lot of factors, but this is a new virus and uh, uh, it will make uh, uh, everybody will be contaminated in the world. Nobody, we cannot afford uh, to say we cannot, uh, we lie to each other if we say today, oh, we are not going to be contaminated. We, everybody is going to plus minus to be contaminated. Yeah, yeah, eventually, eventually, and basically these, these lockdowns are just to slow down the curve. It's only, the, that's the only purpose, right? Absolutely. Uh, just uh, hiding f to fight another time uh, strategy. Uh, but uh, eventually somebody must go out. Uh, even we talk now about such virus can reach the space station. The virus will spread everywhere. Yeah. If, the, if there is a way to, uh, Alex, to protect people from uh, attracting such virus, uh, Prince Charles will not attract this virus. Uh, Prince of Monaco will not attract this virus. Uh, these people, uh, we cannot say they don't know how to clean their hands or they don't have enough stuff to sanitize or to, they don't have enough uh, team to take care of this. The uh, virus is uh, spread everywhere easily and uh, uh, slowly, slowly. Uh, is this bad? Absolutely no. But now the impact is the bad, and uh, we need to help people to reduce this impact. And uh, getting back to the to the Belash and the cytokine storm, we did some clinical trials of, around other types of viruses, and uh, that also create a lot of inflammation inside the body, like this COVID nineteen. And the results uh, are are quite uh, shocking and, and impressive. Uh, uh, can you explain more about that, please? Uh, I think Dr. Celine uh, and Dr. Ikda, you have the data you can uh, present? Uh, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> so yes, we made, a, we made a clinical trial in, um, in collaboration with, uh, with clinics in, uh, in, uh, in Japan, where we will give uh, Bellage uh, for three months. And um, what we observed is that uh, people came, uh, had less uh, symptoms of uh, influenza and also gastroenteritis and, uh, and, uh, and pneumonia. They came less to, to, the, to the doctor for disease and also they, they spent less time in the, in the hospital. So we really see that uh, that pelage can improve uh, improve the occurrence of uh, of, uh, of symptoms. Okay. 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 
Also, you know, the uh, the other point that we have uh, uh, testing, but we we don't have the data here today is the. Uh, you know, the, the viruses always target mitochondria, Alex. The mitochondria is the place where you can find easily the sugar uh, and the uh, nutrition and the uh, oxygen needed for anything to grow. And uh, Mitsuko, maybe you can talk about it if you have some data. Uh, yes, so what we found is the viruses are very the thing that they attack the most is the mitochondria. For people who who have died with the, the viruses, influenza, HIV, any kind of coronavirus, you can recognize that the most damaged part of the cell is the mitochondria. Why? Because this is the energy producer, it's their food. But so with the large focusing on giving mitochondria, a healthy mitochondria energy and regeneration, that way we can combat the... the this is the, you talk about the uh, mitophagy, am I right? Mm -hmm. So because of mitophagy, um, the large destroys um, non-functional, like uh, mitochondria that are not functioning at its best. So it only gives my, the healthiest, the best condition of mitochondria to fight off the, the, vir the viruses. Yes, village don't destroy directly, let's be clear. It is uh, help modulate the mythophagy, uh, the, uh, the, back, the, the undefected uh, mitochondria auto-destruct itself. Yeah. So there are, there are non-functional and functional mitochondria inside our cells. Yes, and by mythophagy, uh, they, they auto-destruct, like they 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 sense which mitochondria don't work and then they renew it to make it to make new healthier mitochondria and with the large it enhances mitophagy that uh, function in, in everyday language alex it's uh, it means uh, uh, the mitochondria which is you know 70% of our weight in the body they get rid from the weak one to make more space for the strong one Exactly. And this is, uh, does not affect only the, um, the uh, production of energy, it affects the, the total integrity of the cell. Absolutely. And uh, this is happening in, in everywhere from the lungs to the liver to, to the brain. And this is the, the KPI that we are focusing all of the time because every human Every animals they have this mitochondria everywhere. This is the the, the organ that is highly strategical, and uh, uh, this is organ is uh, a feminine organ. Uh, to repeat it and remind it, you got your mitochondria from your mom, not from your father. It does not come through ma men. So woman's mitochondria is much stronger than men's mitochondria because they have very clear traceability, you know. And uh, if you look at the uh, Viruses, infections, uh, not the infections, the death, which is tell the real uh, impact. More than uh, 60 to 70 percent of uh, people uh, who die from uh, the uh, from the uh, COVID-19 are men, not women. Yeah, more men are dying from this virus uh, COVID-19 than women. You're right. This is the uh, the uh, very clear constant everywhere from China to uh, to, to to Europe to Italy. We uh, when we uh, see what's happening with the Italians, it's, it's 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 very very clear. More than everywhere that more than seventy percent are men. So women are more resilient because of their mitochondria. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh, uh, an, uh, a a point who I wish to to share with. Uh, with the, with the with the members in the US is uh, this is very very important that the woman's health is is very very important and if we talk about investing in the health in the future we must take care of the woman who is going to deliver the next kids because these is are the women who are going to ha transfer a beta varieties beta type of mitochondria to their kids make them more resilient and stronger absolutely absolutely those those mitochondria are are are, are shared to the to the next uh, child that is about to be born. 
this is our conclusion about uh, uh, all of this. Uh, Alex is uh, uh, health capital is uh, number one. Is uh, uh, health capital is very very important. Uh, you cannot just uh, buy time at any time. It is a long term investment. Uh, number two is the. Uh, uh, we must in, uh, bring uh, more focus into everyday uh, health because this is the common point that uh, uh, very, very poor people and very, very rich people share. How to avoid becoming sick. And uh, uh, this is the, I always talk about this phrase and people don't understand that there is a common point between us human is we cannot afford to become sick. Each time we are sick, this is reduce our ability to fight later on in life. Yeah, the, this, I think that uh, the majority of the people are not conscious about uh, the capital health and the importance of it and how you're, you lose it even when you're 30, 20, 40 years old, when you feel young and healthy. You're, if you don't take the right decisions at those ages, then when you age uh, about 60, your body will start uh, uh, asking for answers. Absolutely, absolutely. This is a marathon of uh, life and uh, it is need really very strategical uh, development. So a very strategical way to, man to maintain the, uh, the, uh, the, the health. Uh, I think this is a, you, we cannot, we must change uh, this uh, perception that uh, cars need maintenance, but human body does not need maintenance. Liver does not need maintenance. And uh, um, uh, this is, I think, the, the, the I hope this, uh, this uh, universal shock bring more awareness to the people so we can have better uh, aging, you know. Uh, the only thing I'm uh, always talking about as the true luxury in life, uh, true things that uh, um, people jealous us from somebody, it is not about somebody who has a private jet or having a car or a nice house or a nice uh, uh, family, it's uh, uh, health. Uh, health is the true luxury in life and when you look at somebody who is uh, 80 years old 85 mm, 90 years old good. and they still have all of their memorization uh, all of their f faculties mm. they don't need to to have uh, reduced their dignity about their uh, style of life this is what i think uh, success in life and this is for me what defines success Absolutely. This is what we wish to share with uh, our uh, members, and this is what we want to bring with the village. How can we bring a solution that uh, maintain uh, this capital health? And I, I've been reading a lot of articles around uh, true success in life and, uh, and what, is, what does really matter for humankind. And these lockdowns in the majority of the countries in the world are helping people to get more conscious of what is really important in our lives. And uh, this uh, constant uh, seek uh, for success, for getting more money to buy more things uh, is putting us to now really think of what's really important. And uh, you just said uh, what is true, true success in life is uh, health, being healthy. Without that, you cannot afford to have anything else. Yeah, I, I see it sometimes, you know, uh, here in Japan, Alex, we uh, sometimes we meet with the, uh, especially, we don't see too much, you know, the the Japanese, uh, Japanese, you know, wealthy people, financially wealthy people, they are not visible too much. The one we see a lot in, Chi in Japan is the Chinese, highly wealthy Chinese people. And uh, when you see them sometimes, not even, able to, to eat their own steak, they must cut it into two pieces to avoid uh, having too much uric acid that can really make their night hell. Uh, you can understand that uh, the health industry is not such evolved. Or the people who say, uh, I change a valve uh, in, my, in, the, in the heart and something, and now next the multiplication, he cannot move too much, he cannot do this, he cannot do that. 
the health is really, we talk always about this AI system, this uh, high technology, regenerated medicine, things, things, things. Each time we open a device, uh, you reduce its shelf life. Each time you bring the human to a clinic, you reduce their shelf life, you make them much weaker, less resilient to fight the next battle. Our mission is we want them to avoid to have such damage. Simple as that. And uh, to conclude, I know that uh, in Japan, the Belash formula is, is starting to be to be sold in clinics in, in, yes. in, uh, with medical doctors, because uh, uh, in this part of the world, in, in U.S., in Mexico, even in Colombia, it has been difficult to connect with uh, enough medical doctors. They are skeptical. They don't believe many times in, in this type of technology or maybe they don't understand them. And immediately they just say, just don't take it or I don't believe. And uh, in Japan is the opposite. Uh, you're, you're, you have been very successful with the clinics, with medical doctors, with hospitals. And now this, the last formula is being sold in the clinics. But this is not new, Alex. Uh, let's uh, come back to where we come from. You know, if you go back 20 years ago and you bring a product which is uh, uh, coming to to uh, based in macro human microbiome, human bacteria, and not even bacteria inside. It is just the byproducts of the such bacteria. It's really very very difficult to sell it for the market. People tell me at that time. What is the vitamin inside? What is the polyphenol inside? What is the bioactive inside? And this is, we have hundreds of bioactive inside. So people, they, it is very difficult to sell. Uh, my, the, the technology we developed is very, very bad uh, product segment. If, uh, if you look at it as a, uh, as a businessman, you, you fire me immediately 20 years ago. And this is what's true. Nobody wanted to buy our technology. The one who started from the beginning to buy our products was the doctors for simple reasons. Uh, doctors, he has a case of fib uh, liver fibrosis. They need to have some uh, bioactive that solve it. The medication cannot do it in what they, whatever they are doing. Such highly uh, bioactive product, it give results. So we got mouth to mouth business through doctors. And uh, this is, uh, makes that uh, today our culture of the company is not too much visible. We don't have too much sales in the internet. We are not, because we have still today, uh, more than 80% of our business is done with uh, clinics and the clinics, they don't care about uh, the marketing part. Uh, the MLM uh, or the network business or what we have been doing in, in, in Mexico for the last 10 years and now in the US is, it's done poorly because I established a trustful relation with you. And uh, uh, I, frankly speaking, I discovered what you are doing. Uh, what is this network business through you? When you told me, okay, we can uh, sell the product directly to the people, giving some people business opportunity, etc., etc. And because I trust you. But otherwise, I really don't know how you do this business. I don't know how you make these meetings. I don't know how the people buy such products. What I know clearly is that normally we start with one clinic, and the doctors, in, uh, because they have networks together, uh, they know each other. And the purpose of our doctors and their pride and their fun is uh, how I have difficult case and we are solving it. And another people asking us the same thing. And in this case, we developed a product that has a Ziploc uh, package and uh, has no uh, too much branding on it. And this is why the product called by its, uh, by, it's not by a commercial name, you know. We are not uh, in a culture of, uh, as you know, we don't have salespeople in our company. I don't have salespeople in our company. And we are, our product exists uh, in the five continents, but we don't have, we have zero salespeople. We worked always through doctors. Yeah, yeah, which is the opposite of, of the majority of the nutrition industry and the dietary supplement industry, which is a lot around marketing videos. Yeah. Uh, super. The, you know. This is Alex, doctor, doctors and the clinics was more complicated 20 years ago, to be honest with you. Uh, they used to ask us, OK, the, your product works, but I really need to have more data, more clinical trials, more this, more that. But now, if you look at the clinics, how they evolved for the last 10 years, 
every clinic have their own uh, testing system. You cannot just bring a diabetes patient and just see his look at his eyes, look at his uh, uh, tension, etc. You must you must have all of these analyses uh, to, to 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 test uh, his evolution. So, is the product uh, have efficacy? Does not have efficacy? It, it is not opinion based, but it is uh, real. Uh, analyzes real testing absolutely absolutely you cannot have a, a placebo effect for a diabetes patient you know yeah and well uh, i know that uh, our american distributors are, are pretty new to the sankey global business and uh, they are now starting to send some comments uh, i think that they have been uh, listening to to all your conference and all this very very interesting wisdom and knowledge that you have thank you for that uh, dr des what would be uh, uh your final message to the americans that are now in lockdown as we are here in mexico in colombia as well where we have operations in sankey global they are i've seen a lot of americans in panic uh, they don't know what's going on they are shocked because all these news uh, that they, they're hearing everywhere, in TV, in social media, messages everywhere. Uh, what would be your final message uh, uh, for all our Sankey family members in the US? Uh, I really, number one, I really uh, happy to, to connect with the members today. And uh, I hope we have the opportunity to see our uh, each other face to face. I'm not too much, uh, uh, the, you know, uh, conference calls person. I, I I hope they come to visit us in, in 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 Tokyo and see what we are doing. See our labs. See how uh, we are investing in uh, a future health system. Uh, coming back to to this situation and uh, everybody is is locked in is uh, i think the the wisdom uh, not only for the virus but in life is to survive to fight uh, another day and uh, this is a chance to reset our system to clean up our not only body but our house our uh, environment and our mind to, to be able to 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 have better longevity i really don't uh, uh, i spend a lot of time with the doctors and the clinics and i saw aged people uh, very close to me uh, i i think it is not funny to be aged uh, not funny to be badly aged. Uh, I think it is not only apply for health, but apply for our attitude, our humanity, and our character. And uh, I think this is a chance to to use this uh, opportunity of disconnecting to reset and start as a better human and uh, stronger uh, physically, mentally, and uh, humanity strong. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you want to add something else, uh, doctor and your team? Yeah, we are, we are very, very happy to, to, to share with you these technologies. We are investing a lot in uh, our own plantations uh, to deliver such microbiome uh, science. Uh, we are very excited to, to be in the U.S. market. It is uh, not because uh, it's uh, everybody saying big market, etc., etc. I think it is uh, it is uh, it is very sad to see all of the poor choices that the Americans have. This is a strong people. This is a, a strong land, a strong spirit, and uh, it is uh, they need to have better uh, health weapons than what they are having today. And I think Bilaj is is much 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 advanced uh, weapon to fight against uh, uh, health challenges than what is available in the market there. You just said something that is very important, uh, that uh, we control our own farms. And uh, it's easily said, but it's uh, at the end not easy. It's actually very difficult to own the whole vertical process. I think that in the nutrition world, uh, in the dietary supplement world, the majority of the companies, maybe 99% of the companies that sell nutritionals, that sell all these dietary supplements, vitamins, yes. minerals, et cetera, don't do not own their farms they don't care about that why why do you decided to own your own farms 
you know, we studied the mitochondria, Alex. Mitochondria is, is, is a strong uh, organ which is coming from woman. Uh, we study microbiome. The strongest one is coming from women. Uh, life is uh, created by women. Uh, nature gives uh, the power to the woman. Uh, we must, uh, as an organization, think as women and uh, to succeed and survive. And uh, women, you know, they, they have the advantage over men is they think uh, the long term. Uh, women think the uh, the uh, the balance for uh, everyone and not for themselves only. And uh, women, they have been engineered by nature to survive because they must protect their kids, protect their family. And uh, I think uh, if we think like a woman, uh, we are one of the most important thing is uh, credibility and the trust. Uh, Women don't like men cheating her. Women don't like people lying. Women uh, lose trust with the lies. Uh, and uh, I think if we're bringing a health product, so we must at one point show people where we're bringing it and how we're developing it and etc. Now, how can I tell you this product is healthy for you and for your kids? If we are bringing this ingredient from uh, India or from China, as the, it is 99% of uh, healthy product coming in the U.S. market, mm -hmm. I cannot guarantee for you how they grow these products. And now you can tell me how they have good analysis, but, you know, very important things, you cannot test them in, in, in laboratory. We need to have health is very, very important. Uh, we cannot just uh, outsource it. We must do it ourselves. Something not important, you can buy it from everywhere. If it is to buy a socks, is okay. But for healthy product that goes into our uh, people who trust us uh, body, they drink it and goes into their stomach and guts directly. We want to be sure 100% where it's come from and how we do it and why it is healthy or not healthy. This is our uh, commitment as uh, humans. And uh, uh, business or no business, somebody like it, nobody like it. We want to. We don't want to be out of this business. We don't want to be out of the market. We don't want to. We want to be uh, uh, follow this uh, sustainability. And uh, to be sustainable, we need to control the strategical uh, source of our technologies. So we are not outsourcing anything. Yeah, and absolutely. we are very happy to invite uh, all of our American members in the uh, oh, now is nobody is traveling, but in the year to come to see exactly how we are developing each part of our technology, how we are doing it as a, uh, a luxurious uh, part. The uh, olive plantation we are doing and uh, you can take my words as a uh, gold standard. It is the most beautiful plantation in earth not in uh, Europe, not in, nobody is doing what we are doing to be able to, de to deliver it. It's, uh, it's uh, crazy to say it, but uh, this is a human health, you know, and if we are not taking the leadership to show that human health is a true luxury, it's a true jewelry, it is really ridiculous. We yeah. must believe in, in human health, you know. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done with our American distributors. So we give this message to the millions of people out there that need this technology, and they still don't do not know about it. So thank you for sharing that, Doctor. Thank you for your time. Thank you for believing in in, in, in this company, and uh, for for your trust and uh, all all your your team behind that is working very very hard to make this happen and to have this fantastic mm -hmm. technology i always say it and i will never cease to say it and repeat it mm -hmm. we have the best products in the world and uh, the world needs to know it yeah thank you very much alex for uh, you know we we, we met together in uh, almost 10 years ago and uh, it is uh, we have normally you know a very uh, one in uh, 14 million chance to meet and to collaborate uh, 
uh, statistically one in 14 million. Mm-hmm. You know, I study <laughs> biostatistics also. <laughs> so one in 14 million, two people in, 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 in different countries just visiting another, another place and meeting and mm-hmm. collaborating. I, I think, you know, it's, uh, um, it's uh, trust is very important. Integrity is very important. There is something we can always change. Uh, innovation and modernity is very, very nice, and we must be very open-minded. But there is something we must never change, and something must always remain same, which is, uh, you know, integrity and uh, humanity and empathy and uh, trust and uh, transparency and uh, uh, being, uh, you know, uh, honest about what we want to do and uh, the, how we will do it. And I appreciate really that uh, uh, you have been working uh, uh, together as a, not only a partners, but as a family, as friends, as brother to, to bring this, uh, which is normally miraculous because people think something high tech coming to the Americas, it must go first through the US and not through uh, uh, Mexico. But uh, frankly speaking, very few people in us can change everything. And I'm very fortunate uh, we could meet together, sit down together in Tokyo and uh, uh, make this project become true. And I'm fortunate for for this. Thank you, Doctor. It has been an honor working with you. It has been it has been the best experience in my whole life. And uh, I just confirmed that we're ready for the battle, for the fight, and uh, we will we will not stop until until we are very successful in all the markets that we open. Yeah, it's very important to remain, you know, uh, when I talk about inflammation, you know, one of the uh, point to fight inflammation is laughing, you know, Alex, and uh, I hope you know, our members is know is uh, they don't stress and they laugh about it. Uh, it is uh, uh, it's uh, a part of the uh, fight to be resilient. And uh, I hope we invite uh, everyone from the US to come and uh, see us in Tokyo here, see how we develop this technology in a, in a very humble and modest uh, steel uh, way. And uh, hope everybody will have uh, together here a nice meal in, uh, in 2021. I'm sure, I'm sure absolutely that they will love it. It will be a, a life-changing experience for them because it has been for me in every single trip to Japan, I've been many, many times now. I've been many times there, and uh, every single trip is amazing. And actually, we we are we we are pushing our distributors to to to, fear, to, 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 to achieve mm-hmm. achieve their goals, so we can be with them in Tokyo and in Europe, in mm-hmm. France, with all of you guys. So because it's uh, it's an amazing experience. Mm-hmm. It's not thank you, thank you. A touristic trip trip. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you well, to your service. Our, Thank you very our, much. Our, you. our team, to our distributors, to Jose Manuel, Helen, Corey, Fabiola. Thank you for, for your efforts. Thank you for your commitment. And uh, we'll be in touch very, very soon. See you on Saturday in our training and our boot camp. And uh, have an amazing evening. Thank, Thank you. you. At Thank your you. service. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Nice.